Hi, in this video we're going to talk about a tool called Safe Mode Launcher by Sortem. So it's a free tool you can download from their website and then uh, once you download it you'll have a zip file then you just extract it and you'll have the files here. So you just want to run the executable and the first time you run it Windows might say are you sure you want to run it or trust this and you just got to click on I think it's more and then say okay. So once again use at your own risk but this seems to be uh, something that works just fine and safe to use. Okay, so now you have your options here. Normal mode, you can have it over at Windows starts normally. Safe mode, safe mode with networking, and command prompt only. And then you can check these additional options to display the boot menu on startup and enable the F8 key. And then there's a menu here uh, where you could start repair mode right from here. Go to recovery settings, that'll just take you to the settings. Uh, run in safe mode, you could pick one of these commands to have run in safe mode. Uh, this one's checked by default to boot once in safe mode. Enable the hidden admin account. So this is you know not related to safe mode. It's just extra things they put on there that they allow you to do. Uh, restart, start MS config, BCD edit, uh, and the command line info is kind of cool. So if you want to run this uh, from the command line, you have these additional options here. So if you want to do the uh, minimal or the reboot or silent mode, that kind of thing. So we're going to demonstrate it here. So we're just going to do, we'll do safe mode with networking. And just click on apply options. And say yes. Okay, let's log in. Okay, so you can see we're in safe mode here. We've got the uh, safe mode black screen with the safe mode in the corners here. So you can see it uh, works pretty good. So it's easier than you know going into the startup and picking your settings for that or trying to use the F8 method, which I don't even think works anymore for uh, Windows 11 or even Windows 10. So you can just download this, have it handy, and if you need to boot into safe mode, just pick your option and go from there. So I'll put a link in the description and you could uh, try it out. And then when you're done, just need to uh, restart normally, and then you'll be back in regular Windows. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.